Remember when you was a kid and got that green grass in your Easter basket? <laughs> well, kids, that ain't grass, and I sure as hell ain't the Easter Bunny. Hi boys and girls, welcome to episode 17, can't believe we got 17 episodes already, well, it's time for Polly, and it's going to be a long road ahead, I've got the whole week off work, and I'm going to have some guests in and out over the next couple days. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a long journey. Sorry. We're talking drilling, tapping, and installing hardware over 800 holes. Yeah. Here's what we're doing. My buddy Mike showed up, thankfully, and he's on top. I've got Amy running around being my gopher, getting tools and drinks and, and all of that nature, but I've got a, uh, a combination drill and tap for a quarter 20 bit. Okay, Greenlee makes some, you can find them on eBay, whatever. I've got it in my drill driver. Now, on occasion, You'll need to spray this down with some, go ahead and throw them in there, girl. All right. On occasion, you need to spray this with some lubricant. WD-40, liquid wrench, uh, PP blaster, or whatever. That's just to keep from the aluminum um, bonding to the threads. You don't have to do it every shot, but uh, you know, the, uh, the, the drill die starts to look white. That's uh, aluminum buildup. You need to spray her down and go again. But, I've got my field drawn out and laid out down here in the bottom. We're going six inch squares. Every six inches we're drilling a hole. So I'm drilling up. Old Mike Mike up on top is tapping the, tapping the hole and then he's running a, a quarter inch bolt right down through it. Now since the aluminum skin is threaded already because I'm threading it as I go with combination fit, that's enough to hold it in place. We're going to get this poly laid down where it needs to, and then we're going to come back and one at a time put the washer and bolt on. That's what's going to take, you know, a long time to do. So while Mike's here, I'm going to utilize him as best as possible. All right, here comes the next one. Big heads are spooky. They don't like that shiny stuff. It's a good thing you're here helping me. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> problem with these bits. 
I get about, I don't know, 70 or so, maybe 60 bolts in, and the impact is breaking them. Just shattering, she do be. So I gotta get it out of the hole. This is the second one that we broke. Um, it's part of it, I guess. Straight down. Yep. <clears throat> Well guys, that's not too bad at work for one day. Uh, special thanks to my buddy Mike for coming out today. That's 180 bolts in there so far. Um, Mike had to take off and not too long after that the sun started to go down. As you can see, we got a quarter inch gap in here, right here on my transition piece. When Mike left, this was butt to butt. So I'm finding out that uh, this poly grows and shrinks quite a bit. Not a lot of footage today, guys. Um, my wife, Amy, was actually out here on top, countersinking my holes and, and uh, running, running bolts in the boat. So, uh, you know, without her, I would be dead in the water. But uh, nobody else showed up. To, uh, to help out today but with uh, with me and Amy going slow all day we was able to, to get down just about as much as me and Mike did yesterday so the only thing we lacked a little bit was uh, was getting footage of it so I'm gonna call it uh, I'm gonna call it 400 bolts in so far we're uh, you know halfway or a little over halfway there of course, we still got to put our washers and, and brass nuts on the inside, but uh, we're getting there. That's the end of day two. Well, what? day three is rainy, of course. You'd know the first day of my actual vacation is raining out, but still plenty of work to be done. My boy Skippy's on his way, and. Uh, we're gonna sit in the shed underneath the boat all day and try to put on about 400 uh, nuts and washers. <laughs> uh, I need to put some washers on, it looks like. Are these all good to go for the washers? Yeah, the perimeters are. Well, they all are. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Nothing, but, uh, oh no, I'm nutting. <laughs> you nut everything. I do. <laughs> I nut it all. <laughs> Look like Spider-Man up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Edgy, push it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm nut slinging. <laughs> Guys, once again, we had a really good day. Um, didn't think I was going to get as much done today as we did. Had rain all day, but uh, luckily we got this nice shop where we can get her in and out of the rain. With uh, a little bit of extra lighting and a fan, we were able to get all the nuts and all the washers on this side of the boat. So, you know, 400 plus, 400 ish, whatever. But uh, shout out to Skippy. Really appreciate you stopping in, bud. Uh, um, it's just going to be me and Amy again today. But I wanted to set a camera up and show you how much this stuff expands. Okay. So I just pulled this out of the shop. And we'll measure it right on this seam. I've got exactly three eighths right there, and I've got I've got a quarter inch back here.
just to uh, just to show how much this poly can grow and shrink. Um, it was cool when we brought it out. She went from three eighths and grew, and that crack went down to less than an eighth. Now, all this is is a saw mark. Okay, so it should be less than an eighth anyway. officially over it's done tomorrow I've got an appointment to go back down and talk to Jacob at uh, Schneider sales and service to get this six-foot seam welded up on front of the boat um, Jacob's going to take care of me on that you know this is my first ever poly adventure let's say and uh, you know I had a lot of questions uh, a lot of worries and I didn't have a hell of a lot of people to reach out to about that, um, but I did get a hold of uh, Mr. Farron Floyd with American Airboats, and if you guys are, you know, getting ready to do some poly, um, hopefully this video has answered some questions for you, but uh, if not, I highly recommend that you guys uh, reach out to American Airboats, because um, they'll, you know, they'll help you with anything you're getting ready to do. Um, we, uh, we were we kind of stretched this out over five days um, really we what, what do you say we probably had about 25 hours wrapped up in all five days maybe probably a little more than that but well I, I don't know it kind of varied you know a lot of days we didn't start till 11 o'clock and and we were done by you know five or six because we were just you know wore out from the heat but we needed a heat to work the poly um, but anyway, with uh, with help from Mr. Mike Embry and uh, Mr. Uh, Skippy Duwayne, <laughs> he'll like that. Mm -hmm. um, a day of peace, and and uh, you being here every day helping me, no matter what. I I really appreciate it. Bye, you, <laughs> I love you, honey. I love you too. Oh, babe. Uh, there's another boat sitting over there, and I got like three days left of my vacation. We'll put Polly on that one too. Sure. <laughs> it's been real. It's been fun. It's not been real fun, but hey, boat's done. Boat's done. Right. <laughs> Can't wait to get her fired up. Well, guys, as always, wear your personal flotation devices while you're out there in the water, no matter who you are, and uh, and be safe. <laughs>